So you have that our thread pool working properly, but it was very, very simple. It was just to a task was literally comprised of just two integers that they were being summed. Now I want this task to actually execute a function that can be given by our main uh, thread, right? So we can give anything to our task. Therefore, we're going to actually change this from being a uh, a simple two integer tuple to having an actual function point and here it's going to be a void point and let's say task function I guess and it's not going to take in any arguments for now. So this is a simple function pointer if you don't know what a function pointer is or how to use it link up top uh, you can check the tutorial on that if we have that, we can change the main function so that instead of doing this, you can say dot task function equals a function that we create, right? And this can be anything, right? And uh, let's say we want uh, sum and product, right? And we get the reference to it. And this function is going to be created right now on our program, like so. Okay, so this is going to be added to our main function. We're submitting this task with this function itself, but we also need to change the code that's executing the function, right? So we're executing or executing the task itself. Right? Executing the task itself is no longer just a printf or a result or anything. It's literally just calling task function itself. And task function is going to be this sum and product for us, but it can be really anything. So this sum and product has the same example uh, as before, but now instead of just summing the two numbers, we're going to also get a product of it. So I'm going to say here int a equals rand percent 100, int b equals rand percent 100, int sum equals a plus b, int product equals a times b times b, and I'm going to print f a statement saying that uh, sum and product of percent %d and percent %d is percent %d and percent %d respectively and the backslash line. and then here I have to pass in a couple arguments I'm gonna have here a new line uh, saying a b sum and prod all right amazing so this is our function is being executed is being sent to our task and now if we try to launch this, we should be seeing this uh, result in here. And let's see if everything is all right. We can indeed see here that 51 plus 5 is 56 and 51 times 5 is actually 255. So it seems like it's working perfectly. Nice. And like before, we can simulate that it takes a long time by just doing a use sleep. And if we launch this... As you can see, it did take a bit longer with eight threads. Let's say with one thread, it should take even uh, more time, as you can see here. Now, one more thing that you might want to have in a function is argument. So let's say that instead of AB being generated in here, we want to still generate AB inside our main function, but the operation is going to be like whatever we want it to be. So Let's say here we have int a and int b. We no longer have these in here. So that's that. But then how are we going to pass in to this function these arguments? Well, first things first, we have to change the signature. So the signature of this function is going to be uh, two ints inside the parameters here. So that's going to be our new function pointer. But besides that, we're going to have to add the arguments themselves. So arg one and arc two inside this task now and when we're creating these um, this task here we're gonna have to add those two uh, arguments and here arc one equals rand percent 100 arc dot arc two equals rand percent 100 just like that and lastly we need to change the way we're calling this task because now it has two ints as parameters. So to pass in these two, we're going to have to take the task and actually pass it as argument one 
and oops, task argument two, just like that. Now, if we try to launch this, we should be able to get the same result, but with uh, arguments being passed from the main function, while the operation is also like whatever we want it to be. Now let's actually test this, uh, this idea that we can have different types of operations and different tasks. Let's actually split this to this function into two functions and try to work with that. How do we do that? Well, I'm going to simply create those two functions. Just like that, very simple functions. I think you understand them at the first glance. I kept the use slip here. And down here, we're gonna have to say here, well, let's say if i% percent two is zero, then give us the sum. And otherwise I want the product. So half of the tasks are gonna be summing tasks and half of them are gonna be product tasks. So now if we try to launch this, we should see that we have two types of uh, tasks being ran in, uh, well, right now they are all sequentially run by just one thread, but if we change that to a four and restart, we should have a thread pool that's executing four tasks at a time, much faster. And we can see that they are all of different types. Product of zero and 12 is zero, that makes sense. 58 plus 90, that's 148, that makes sense. So everything seems to be working properly. And actually, basically all I wanted to cover in this uh, thread pool tutorial, one interesting homework I want you guys to actually try to implement is to have the tasks actually return a result. So what would be nice is in the main function to be able to get a result from each task, how to do that. As a hint I'm gonna give you is that you're probably gonna need another, uh, another queue or another array of tasks that have finished their execution, right? And probably this is gonna have to change this signature here. All right, I hope you got something out of this video. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Again, the source code will be found down in the description below. Take care, bye.